On June 10th, Bitcoin broke support from a congestion pattern that saw it trading in a pretty tight range since mid-May and then proceeded to quickly lose 40% of its value down to a low of 17,600. Now this break happened to coincide with that troubling US CPI number on June 10th that sent rate markets into an extremely volatile repricing of future Fed policy and a 2.5% rally of the US dollar against the dollar index. At its low, Bitcoin was down 75% from the high it made back in November. At current levels, Bitcoin still represents 43% of the total crypto market cap, down from a recent high of 47%. Now, of course, the crypto space in general has been under tremendous pressure as 72 out of the top 100 tokens are now down more than 90% from their highs. Now, the weakness in those is a double-edged sword for Bitcoin, as at some point, weakness in the broad crypto space may make the most widely held and established coins more valuable, but in the short term, it may spark rumors of a potential Bitcoin sale in order to meet margin calls on losses from lesser coins. Now, in recent days, Bitcoin has gained back some ground and now sits just above the psychological level of 20,000. Now, if a trader believes that Bitcoin's recapture of 20,000 is an indication of greater gains ahead, they could express that by buying the CME Micro July Bitcoin futures contract at 20,700 and then target June congestion of 32,000. Now, a stop for this trade could be placed below at 17,000. This trade could make $1,130 if your target is reached and risks $370 if you're stopped out at your level. Now, if a trader believes that that 20,000 support level will soon give way and further losses will ensue, they could sell the micro July Bitcoin futures contract at 20,700 and target the November of 2020 congestion of 12,000. Now, stop for this trade could be placed above at 25,100, just above the 25,000 psychological level. This trade could make $870 if your target is reached and risks $440 if you're stopped out at your level. 